What's going on, everybody? Doc from After Gamer Guys, back yet again into another Rocket League episode, continuing to move through our blueprints. We're doing a bunch today, so we're going to jump right into it. We're kicking it off. We're going to do Elevation today, so we're trying to get through, trying to get down to the good stuff is uh, really what we're trying to do. So we got 200 Elevation. We're going to rock and roll through these things, and uh, just welcome. Sit back, relax, enjoy it. Hopefully we can pull some good stuff. Mainframe, Singularity. So there's some pretty decent stuff in here. Solar flares. Uh, so we could see some painted black markets if we get uh, the luck on our side. But if you're new, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. Link's in the description down below. Twitter, Twitch, Discord. You guys know what to do. Give us a follow on all that stuff. Especially Twitch. We got our new PC gaming setup and recording setup and streaming setup. Finally, finally all together. All the pieces came in, and uh, we had a really fun stream this last uh, this last weekend. Played a little bit of everything, and uh, it was a really good time. So some score gurnots to start us off here. Uh, if you've been around and you stuck and you snuck in for the stream, just thank you. Thank you guys for the continued support. Appreciate everybody that stopped by. We had some fun. Played a little bit of uh, community Rocket League games. Played uh, quite a bit of Tarkov. Played a little Apex as well. So it was a good time. So we'll look forward to doing that, uh, getting back into the groove of things. Hopefully you guys uh, can come and join and hang out with us uh, real soon. That would be awesome. And again, just appreciate the continued support. What are we hoping out of this? Obviously, we're hoping for some black markets. It feels like a long time since blueprints came out. It hasn't been that long. Um, I just haven't done a whole lot with these blueprints, to be honest with you. We need to open them up. We need to see what we get. Honestly, not a whole lot. We haven't really hit... Um, I mean, we've gotten a lot of black markets, which is really cool. Uh, we had a ton of blueprints. And uh, it hasn't really folded out to be what we hope it can be. I still got some PCC left. We still got the CC series left, too. So there could be some goodies inside of those. Um... Hopefully we can get some. There's a wet paint black market blueprint. Let's go! Scout thinks so. He's happy in the background. Wish we could have got some paint on it. Unfortunately, we won't do much with that blueprint. There's some pink or not. That's all right. That's all right. Now we're getting some purple striker. Ooh. Little Nimbus action. Sorry for my dog in the background. He's very itchy today, apparently. But Stop it. But, uh, yeah, no no super bangers. No super bangers, unfortunately. Really hoping for... Um, ooh, I might actually craft that. I don't know if I have a black disco trail. The disco uh, trails are actually pretty cool. That's uh, kind of a one of the sneaky very rares in this, in this series. We might actually craft that if we don't have one already. I was telling the chat uh, over the stream this last weekend that... Uh, Again, kind of making the transition. It was, it's been really neat uh, with the new setup and everything that I can, I can pretty seamlessly transfer from. Um, there's burnt sienna. I got a lot of painted nimbus, nim, nimbi, nim, nimbuses, nim, nimbis. I don't know. Google it. Um, can make a pretty seamless transition from from Xbox to PC. Um, haven't really done much with my my PC Rocket League. I did pick it up though, so. I think I might be jumping into that. I need to work on my, um, wow. Wet paints all freaking day. Where's a little bit of paint, baby? A little bit of paint action. That's all right. We'll take them. It's better than not having black market blueprints. <laughs> oh, we can't complain too much. Um, I need to work on getting my, uh, might see a ranked series this, uh, this week. Just need to keep working through, grabbing some, Maybe grabbing some ranked wins would be ideal. Haven't uh, it's I've been kind of on and off with this game, to, to be honest. Still enjoying it. Still playing a little bit. We'll get a couple games in every day. Not playing much ranked though. I kind of had a, I go, I went in a spurt. I went in a little. I think a lot of people do this unless you play this game a ton. Some of you play it all day every day, which is totally cool. Um, it's great that you like that this game that much, and uh, you guys know that I'm big, big fan of this game. But uh, I kind of gone in spurts of, like, I played ranked for, like, a solid, like, two weeks. Um, just trying to get get ranked, obviously, and then get my wins. Um, you know, I got a lot of my low-level wins, which I think is my strategy now, is to get them 
in like solo standard um, and solos, just 1v1s. Um, get a little bit better at that. I think I've kind of slowly moved myself up that uh, in those ranks. Um, by no means am I any good in ones, but uh, it's better than playing bronzes. <laughs> so I've been kind of slowly moving up, getting getting the wins where I can uh, in that, and then again swapping over to twos and solo standard. Uh, we're gonna get all the painted nimbuses. Solo standard to get some of the my plat. I think I can. I think I might be close to diamond and solo standard, which is not saying a lot, but uh, it helps me at least try to get through those wins, and then jumping into good, good queued up teams of twos and threes, playing with sloths, some buddies. So I need to do that. I need to keep finishing that out, and then maybe if I can get my rewards with this account, maybe I'll swap over and start grinding on my uh, my PC account. I've wanted to play. I've set it up. Um, but I haven't done much with it. Obviously, there's a conversation about the inventory and all that stuff. It doesn't really matter. I'm fine keeping the inventory on the Xbox. Maybe transfer some, do some swap overs. But if there's anything I really wanted, to be honest, I'd probably just go grab some credits and try to trade for it, pick it up. No big deal. I wonder if we're going to get another wet paint. Just trying to move through these. I know elevation is not the most, uh, it's not the most fascinating. And I remember first opening this crate <laughs> and getting back-to-back -back wet paints in the actual crate opening and being very sad. <laughs> it was a great crate opening. We got a lot of cool stuff. I think that's what I miss most about crates is the new series, right? So crates were always so much fun when the new stuff came out. And uh, and you could go and you know grab a bunch of them and crack them open and everything inside of it was new and interesting. I'll be curious to see what happens with the next set of blueprints. Um, I, I have a feeling we'll get a new blueprint series, honestly, very soon. Um, it's just not going to have the same feeling. We've got a lot of non-painted exotics. Um, I think that's our second pair of Gurnots. But that's the unfortunate part, is if there's no way to actually get the blueprints... Titanium White Synthwave is kind of cool. There's no way to get the blueprints besides playing the game, which is, again, a totally fine method. There's some Lime. Ragens. I said Gurnots earlier, I meant Ragens. Um, so it's not going to have the same feeling, I don't think. Unless they give you an option to be able to, to purchase them, which they won't. They're going to just leave it to what it is and... You're going to have to earn them. And then they'll bring stuff into the store, which is totally fine. I think the store is actually probably working out better than... I don't want to say better than they hoped, but after the price adjustments, I think it's working out pretty good. I do have to say, so taking a look, so the lantern... I was wondering where the goal explosions were going to come in. So they actually put a event-specific black market goal explosion in the item shop. It's in now. It might still be in when you're watching this. It's really cool. It is actually really cool. I would seriously consider getting it. I have the credits for it, but 2,000 credits um, for a, an untradeable black market goal explosion. Now, I would never trade it. I would just hang on to it, be part of the collection. I don't know that I like that there's not another option to get it besides it being in the, in the item store. Um... It feels to me like the next time you'll see it, you're not going to see it again unless they do this event again next year. In which case, maybe they put it in. Um, maybe they do a special, I don't know, blueprint series. Or maybe they just put it back into the item shop. There's a cobalt one. We are going to get all of the Nimbus out of these 200 elevations. I don't know. It just doesn't feel... That doesn't feel like a very good move to me. Um... Although, if you really like it, it's going to force you to pick it up. It is going to have some rarity, although the rarity is going to be... You're not going to be able to cash in on that rarity because it's a non-tradable item. Um, so it's interesting. That's an interesting setup. It would have been kind of cool if they would have had a different way of get it, actually getting it um, and getting one that was tradable. Because I really like it. I may still end up picking it up, but... Uh, just not, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know how I feel about it. I don't feel good about it. I'll be honest. I don't feel good about it. I think they could have uh, they could have done it a little differently, or brought it out, or let us pick it up. You know what I mean? It is such a cool goal explosion. Make us grind for it. Um, put put it into the item store, and I don't know. Make make it really expensive, comparative to everything else. You know, make it three thousand uh, little little golden tickets or whatever. Um, I don't know. It is really cool. I, I think that's the part I'm most frustrated about. Is it is actually a really neat goal explosion. I like it. Um, perfectly themed for the event. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so I started this video out. Oh my gosh. I started this video out talking about how we had not pulled like any bangers. Scout, stop. Stop. And then we pull this. This is huge. Now I don't know the current trading value of this. Um but it's got to be pretty good. We might craft this. I'm going to have to do some research. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. It's not certified. It would be absolutely banger if it was certified. Uh, but this is nuts. This is actually pretty nuts. <laughs> By far. By far. Hands down. 100%. The best blueprint I've opened out of all the bl blueprints I've, I've opened up to this point. Um... I, I can specifically remember cracking in a crate a gray one of these and thinking it was titanium white and losing my mind. And ever since then, I've been pretty jaded with the mainframe. Uh, but this totally redeems itself. Wow. This is huge. That was awesome. Right at the end, I think we got about 20 left. That's pretty cool. We're going to do some research. We're going to do some research. Exactly 20 left. That's nuts. And it wasn't a wet paint, which is even better. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's nuts. Let's go, boys. Let's go. This actually kind of got me jazzed up. Like I said, I needed something really good, man. I hadn't seen any white Zamba blueprints or any other, honestly, any other really good painted black markets. I've been getting black markets, but they've all just been pretty standard. I think we might have picked up something. Um... I painted something. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't recall. We've done a lot of them, but that was insane. That's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Elevation Series, for hooking it up. You let me down before, but you have not let me down right now, which is just awesome. We may just craft that and hang on to it. That would be... That's one. It's probably worth it. We'll have to, we'll have to do some research and see how we're going to finish out. Last two... The Nimbus, Last Elevation, Pink Finnies. Well, 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 well. Can we sort here? Let's check our black markets. We've gotten 24. So we did rip a gray singularity. Okay. That's it. Oh, black hextide. Black striker hextide. That's right. Okay. So I kind of take back. This is really good, too. Um, this is just nuts, though. That's so cool. Really, really cool. I'm stoked. I'm stoked about it. That's awesome. So we have, out of 3,000 blueprints, obviously we still have quite a few to open. We have the PCC. We got, what, four, five, six, seven. We got about 800 blueprints left to go. Um, we'll jump into the CC series. We'll probably do Ferocity, Player's Choice. Then we'll do uh, kind of the event once see if we can pull anything neat out of these and then we'll finish up probably with pcc and cc4 or the cc series ones uh, so this should be pretty fun so what do we get 24 black markets out of the 3,000 that we have minus about 700 so the rate is not fantastic but uh we will take today that was a solid win solid solid win thank you guys for tuning in again links in the description down below if you enjoyed it hopefully you stuck around to, for the for the amazing finale um but if you enjoyed it Drop a like, drop a comment, let me know how your day is going. Hopefully you're enjoying this current event, and hopefully you're enjoying some Rocket League, and hopefully we'll have some good Rocket League news coming up pretty soon um, with something. just feels like something's coming close. 
um, RLCS new season starting up um, here shortly. So uh, not a bad time for Rocket League. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Doc, Average Gamer Guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.